Welcome to the shop on this wet and windy day. Come on inside. Someone recently showed interest in my antique wood vice and I did a community post about it asking what should I do with it. The responses ranged from do nothing because it matches the worn look of the bench, just replace the wood bits to do a full restore. The vice has sentimental value because it was my dad's so I decided to do something in between. While I'm working on vices today I'm going to upgrade this one and replace it with my father-in-law's vice from the farm and give this one a makeover to match the same finish as my antique drill press.
I would prefer the vise right in the very corner here and behind the edge of the table, but there's a bar underneath here and I can't put the bolts through. So the plan is to use one of the existing holes. I'll get this, which I don't like, but the advantage is that when I clamp something in the jaws like this, I can clamp it below the edge of the table. So that's the plan. I'm only putting one extra hole in the bench. Let's get to it. I've been putting this job off. This vice was my dad's and it needs some TLC, but I don't want to stuff it up. It's a Carter number no. nine, made in Australia. It's got some glue marks up here and some stains here. That's the original color. I'll try and clean it up, but preserve as much of the patina as possible. It's got a broken knob. I want to resurface these wooden jaws because these divots make holding small parts hard and when I clamp softwoods I'm scared that this surface will mar the workpiece. coming off.
I would never have thought the first job for this vice would be to hold a piece of wood. After I scrub this with steel wool and detergent, it looks like crap and I'm nearly ready to give up and completely strip it like the other vices. Because I've taken material from the top of this plate, I need to move it up and to the side so that I can then use the same mounting holes. I needed to make this spacer slightly tapered.
and now to make the top flush. I'm going to use a steel wool and vinegar stain to darken these vice jewels. The oil is just to protect the bench top. The benefits of this stain is that it's cheap to make and it doesn't fade. Unfortunately, it can be unpredictable. The amount of tannin in the wood determines how dark it ends up. And this turned out way darker than expected. What do you reckon? It looks alright? You might have noticed that I've changed my channel name to Saw It and I've replaced the channel picture with the antique saws, these ones up here, into a logo. Next week I'll have some very expensive new saws arriving and I think that'll be interesting. And from then on my plan will be to go into full maker mode. Thanks for watching. I want to grow the channel and make it better. So. If you think I deserve it, bookmark it with your subscription and I'll see you next time.